Good morning. I am feeling so much better today. Today is the day after my birthday. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. It was a great one despite being sick. <laughs> my voice is still <clears throat> deeper than it normally is so hopefully that'll get back to normal soon but I have a review for you today of this cute cute little Hawaiian Tropic Mineral Translucent Sunscreen Powder. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about it and then we'll get into my review. This is a translucent sunscreen powder, SPF 30, 0.15 ounces. And you can see the powder is all down here in the end. It has 24.5% zinc oxide, which is fantastic. Here are the ingredients on the back. I am not a medical professional, I'm not a dermatologist, I am just a normal person who survived melanoma skin cancer. <laughs> but I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like if you ended up liking it, and share it with a friend. I bought this with the intention to reapply over my makeup throughout the day so that I don't have to reapply a lotion just as kind of a touch up, maybe some mattifying properties, something that was purse size. In years past, I have used the brush on powder and so I kind of want to compare that brush on powder with this one a little bit because they are very similar, but there are some pros and cons to this powder sunscreen. All right, so the way you open up this sunscreen is you take off the lid and you roll down the little cap and it reveals a brush. Now you can tell that the sunscreen comes out because you could actually see it's hard. You can't see on camera. But in person, you can see that there is sun, that there is powder in the brush. That's how you know it comes out. It is translucent. And you just dab it like this. Now, as you can see, I am testing out today the Vacation Mineral Sunscreen that you can see is glowy, right? You can see it's, it's popping through my matte foundation. And when I apply the sunscreen on top right here with my nose, it doesn't really take away that shine. So here are some of the pros and cons I see about this. This is great for reapplying over your makeup. I don't think it is going to change the way your makeup look, meaning I don't think it mattifies. I don't think it mattified my nose at all. It still looks shiny to me, which could be a good or bad thing depending on how you want your makeup to look. It is SPF 30 with zinc oxide, so it does have great protection. For me, personally, I would use this in the winter rather than how I had envisioned using it in the warmer climate that I live in. The one thing that I do not like about this is that it's not water resistant. Whereas my brush on sunscreen block that I typically wear and keep in my purse during the summer months is water resistant. Here in the humid climate of South Carolina, it is a frequent thing that you get humidity beating up on your face when you're out and about. <laughs> you can just walk to your car and water will beat up on your face. And so having a powder that is not water resistant does not work in my life. But it might work in yours and the price is right. I'm going to pop the price up on the screen. It has a great price point and I did pick this one up in my local Walmart. If I can find a link to this one online, I will post it in the description box down below. Below. It is clear, so I think it works for all skin tones, but again, I mean, I'm only testing it out on my very white skin, so I can't attest to how it works on a darker skin tone. The expiration date on the bottom of mine says 9 of 2023, so I think I'm going to set this aside and bring this out back again when the weather turns cooler, and I will not be using this during the summer. If you've tried this out and you liked it or didn't like it, let us know in the comment section down below. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.